Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. I'm back at the crochet. So today is 8 31 of 2024 and I have some yarn to show you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me for my voice and I do apologize for my absence. Me and my family were all hit with COVID. It was the first time that we have ever had COVID and it was not fun less to say the least. Am I 100%? No, you can tell by my voice that I'm not. But I'll tell you that I'm a lot better than I was. So, um, I wanted, I hope that you've caught uh, the last couple of tutorials I put on. I was, when I, when I was sick, I was trying to work on a, a few uh, crochet tutorials. Um, I hope that you caught them. I put, I put them on. Anyways, I have some yarn to show you today that I purchased from Ice Yarns. Now, the reason for me purchasing from them was you guys remember an unboxing I did um, not long, well, not long ago, maybe, I don't remember how long ago it was, a couple weeks ago. And I had shown this furry Jody Long sparkly yarn that I purchased last year. And I've been looking for a uh, two or three weight uh, yarn preferably some type of merino or something but it didn't have to be that was uh corresponding to these four colors so i can make a collar block uh cardigan well i found some at premiere and you know when you're looking on the internet at pictures you think it matches and then you get it it doesn't so when i got it from premiere uh, it didn't match so i went and i uh, I looked at ice yarns and I found some that maybe, just maybe, might match it. You guys want to look? All right, let's look. <clears throat> Plus, they had a few other things that were new, so I wanted to try them out. I didn't get tons, but let's see what we got here. So this is now with ice yarns. If you don't know, they come from it comes from Turkey. Never had a problem with ice yarn. Well, I used to a long time ago, but I don't anymore. I really, really like ice yarns. They have a lot of yarn. They ship really fast, and I can't complain about them, actually. So, with them, I usually give you the number that's on the bag. And if you type in this number at ice yarns, uh, it will pop up this exact yarn with this exact color. And if there's any more colors available, if you scroll down, scroll down you'll see them. So this one's 81305, and it is macrame glitz. Oh, oh, this could be useful. I was just thinking that I was, I was thinking about making um, a rug and a bag, and I was trying to think about um, some macrame yarn that I had, and I, I knew I had some from Stinley that I bought, but it was it's a gradient cake and i wasn't for sure if i could use the whole cake in its entirety to make my project look i for that particular macrame uh, cake that i have i want to make sure that i can use the entire cake you know to show the colors in it but this could be nice and work well oh yeah i might make a rug out of this i've been wanting to make like a half circle rug or maybe I got a couple bag ideas in my head, but I was really looking for something a little bit stronger uh, yarn than what I have here. That's nice. I like that. Yes, this is going to come in quite useful. Look at the sparkle in that. That's beautiful. I might put this on the hook tonight because, like I said, I was just sitting here thinking about, man, I wish I had some different macrame. I, for I forgot that. I ordered that. There was in this bag down here macrame other than that stinley because i don't want to waste that stinley cake so this is classified as a bulky number five 87 percent polyester and 13 percent metallic 200 grams and 125 meters that's gonna be beautiful what would you guys think would you prefer to see made out of this so if you could see it up close look how sparkly it is let me know in the comments would you prefer to see like a half circle rug or or some type of rug i guess uh or i could do a table runner 
or would you prefer to see a bag? Let me know your preference. I have a couple ideas, or a few ideas for all of those things, but it needed a stiffer yarn than what I have, but now I have it. I got, to, I got plenty to make any of those things, so let me know. Awesome. Awesome. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so this was new as well, or they said it was. Eight one two 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 baby dream. That's that's new, huh? Let's open it up and look at it. Why don't we look at it, huh? Oh, that's soft. That's gotta be some type of anti-peeling. Smells clean. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's beautiful. Ah, I like that. It almost looks like a, a holographic color. That's gorgeous. It is a lightweight, I'm sorry, it's a medium weight number four. 250 meters, 100% anti-peeling acrylic. I knew it. There we go. There's their four way. Hey, that'd be nice. That's gonna make something pretty. Pretty, that is soft too. I like that. I'd definitely buy that again. Even though it's, uh, a variegated yarn that's all right it's a pretty variegated they can make a pretty uh, baby blanket or something nice it's 250 meters so 275 yards or so i like it so that one comes three to a pack <clears throat> nice like that so that was a a new one and then this was a new one uh-huh <clears throat> Excuse me, like I said, it was that's pretty. My favorite color ever, huh? <laughs> this is uh, Wool Super Bulky. Well, 81239. I'm sorry, I'm reading that backwards. Let's open it up and check it out, shall we? Hmm. I like wool, and I do love brown. Let's feel it. It smells like wool. <laughs> That's pretty. I love it. I like the color. It feels fine too. I'd wear a scarf out of it. Yeah. That's a nice. That's a six weight. Yeah. 25% wool, 75 acrylic, 85 meters. So that's a nice bulky six. You know, that would make a nice pretty bag as well because it's a nice thick uh, yarn. I like that. I might make a bag out of that as well. Did I only get three of them? I might have only got a three. If that's the case, then I won't. I can make a smaller bag, I guess. We'll see. Oh, that six weight works up. Uh, all right, say, let's see. 85, what is it? 85 meters of a six weight is going to go farther than 85 meters of four weight because it's thicker. So, but, you know, make, make it bigger. Ain't that pretty? I like that. Very pretty. I like that one too. Excellent, excellent. I think about what I do with that. I think that would work for a bag. I'm super excited about that macrame because I was just sitting here thinking about what what I could do. You know, what can I do? Oh my, what's this stuff? Oh my, look at that. My my my, I don't remember that. This is uh, eight one five five three. Cotton paleot. I probably didn't say that right. Sequin. Sequin. <laughs> um. Woo hoo hoo. Now that is fancy. Isn't that beautiful? My, my, my. Mm, they say it's a 50 grams, 115 meters. Georgie. Uh, it's 45 <laughs> cotton, 25 of the sequin. Uh, 45, <laughs> George, stop, come on, buddy. 45 cotton and, I can't read it, 55 of the sequin. Sorry about my dog, he's weirdo. He is a weirdo, that is, a, it's got more sequin in it than it does yarn. Oh, that's beautiful. Run that through with another yarn. How pretty would that be? Oh, wow. 
I like that. I only got one bag in the back. That's not like me to just get one bag of, of that sparkly stuff. Just one bag. No. Well, I'm going to have to go back. Let's just stuff. Two of these. Are these the same? I don't know what they are. Let's look at them. All right. Oh, this was new. New too. Um, Bamboo Merino Light. I think they said it was new. There's a number on it there for you. So. Oh, that's different. They look similar, but they're not. They're not. They're, not. they're different. That's kind of heavy. Bamboo, though, can be heavy. Not soft like bamboo. And pretty neutral gray. Uh, feels really nice. Smells really clean. Uh, from what I could smell of it. <laughs> it smells clean. It smells clean. It is, uh, I can't, I can't read it here. Um, it's 160 meters. I think it's a two way. They're saying a 40 critic and a 60. What is this? I shown. I can never read their tags. They're, they're always so small. George, stop it, please. Georgie, I'm gonna kick you out of the room. Bark again and you're out. He looked at me, turned around and looked at me, had to read bark. Don't be that way. It ain't giving me no info on it. Come on now. Oh, there it is. Here it's on this one. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. It's 40% acrylic and 60% merino. I, I, I'm not having trouble seeing. It's just, bam, the, their, their uh, labels are always blurry. Why is it called, oh, Bamboo Merino. Why is it called Bamboo Merino? When the tag says acrylic merino. That's weird. Huh. Whatever. It's soft though. It feels really nice. And I think they're saying that's a two or a three way. I can't really read what they're saying. In between a two and a three. That's what I'm going to say. I like that one too. Yeah, I'll buy that again. Alright, I came forward to a pack. I'm trying to not take, make my video take too long. I'll let my voice will be gone completely if I take, take too long here. Okay, so this is a number for this one. It's called Tensile Light. 81512. Alright, well, let's look at it. Feels nice. I like that. Ooh, that's silky soft. Ooh, silky soft. Silky smooth. Really, I can't smell that well, so I, I'm not really no help. It just, you don't really smell like anything, so I'm assuming it probably smells clean. Um, since it's a new yarn. Um, this is really soft. I like it a lot. It's a little... So I could, could be pushing. Uh, it's probably a two thicker side of a two weight. Um, it is um, 250 meters, 100% tensile. That's nice. You know, though, I wish that I would have got that in black or something. And I could have ran it with this. I might have to go buy it. This is so pretty. What would you guys make with this sparkly? I've never seen anything so sequin. sequin I say I say it wrong, and but you know what I mean. I've never seen anything that's like it reminds me of like uh, I don't know discoy. Yeah, pretty, it's pretty. I like the sparkly bling. I like this one too, the tinsel yarn, that's very nice. All right, I think now all I have left is the flavors that I got to try to match. 
these four balls. So I got two different varieties because I wasn't sure what would match. Excuse me. Um, so we'll start off with the, the oranges. So I got this one, with this, which is Silk Merino DK. Um, let's open it up. I'm super excited about that macrame, and I'm super excited about that sequin stuff. Actually, all of it that I've got so far was really nice. This might be one of the nicest ice yarn holes I've seen in a while. Well, that depends on if any of these colors match these furry yarns, I guess. Um, okay, so the Silk Merino DK, it's very pretty. It feels fine. And it is, gosh, their tags are so blurry. 35 Silk. Uh, 65 merino and they're classifying it as a three-weight yarn okay 140 meters and then the other variety I got that I thought could kind of match it was Norsic there's a number for that one so let's pull out that orange and look at that um so the Norsic is 45 or 40 Eight percent al, forty something percent alpaca, twenty forty five percent alpaca, twenty five percent wool, and thirty percent polyamide. Uh, Two hundred twenty meters classified as a lightweight number three. I want soft too. I like that one a lot. Okay, they're both very nice, and let's hold them up. And I don't think either of them's gonna match that orange. You know, I don't. That orange is hard to find a match for. It's okay. It's okay. Some people's like, you don't, you're not, it doesn't have to match exactly. Just get one similar. No, it's got to match. It's got to match. No, I might just make one, use one that's similar. Actually, of these two, I like the feel of the Norsic better. It's not quite as orange. It's a little more pumpkin-y than what it's showing. Um, this one's pretty as well, but I do think that one is softer. Um, but this would probably match this better, doesn't it? Neither one of them match, do they? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Why don't we check out the yellows and see if we got close with those. So these are the same uh, that I just told you about, but I got one in yellow and one in, yeah, one in, in for each variety in yellow. The Norsic and the Merino Silk. So we got these two. I don't know why it's showing up so yellow. It's, it's really more, it's mustardy. And dang it. Oh, that yellow matches. Oh, I like that yellow. I like that yellow. I think those two. Yeah, I think I would roll with those two for certain. What do you guys think? I mean, this is not an exact match, but that's probably pretty close for me. I'm pretty, you know. I like that one. All right. Norsic. Norsic. All right. Let's move on, man. Let's see what we got for the, the green. Okay. Um, this one. Now, I remember the North State, they only had one green, one green, and I don't even know if it's going to work out. It, no, it's not going to work out. Dang it, it's not. That yellow was so close. But then again, okay, this is the same. This is the Norsic, and this is the only green, I think, if I remember right, that they had. And then this is the Silk uh, Merino, and here's the green. I'm trying to match it, too. Neither one of them are even there. Not even close. Dang it. All right, well, I got one more. I 
what's the other color that I'm supposed to be having here? Yellow, oh, brown, brown. Brown, brown, everywhere is brown. Okay, right here it is. You know what? I'm going to have a lot of these fall colors to make things with, I guess. Okay. And here we go. I'm trying to match up the brown. So here's the silk merino. And this was the brown that they had in the Norsic. I think it was the brown. Yeah. And here is my... Dang it. Dang it, they're so different. Okay. That's a no-go again. Two, two different different yarns. No match up for this. And that's okay. And I know some people will say, you know, it matches good enough. You know what that yellow did. But the other ones they didn't match good enough for me. So I will continue my hunt. But that's okay because I would like that's okay because actually I kind of figured I was hoping but I knew deep down that I probably I, I probably wasn't gonna match Freddy that's my dog Freddy back there he's a big guy he named after Freddie Mercury Freddy is sitting on a chair under under Freddy Freddy what are you doing boy he's a burner doodle all right, is it so that is stunning. So this is a Norsic as well. All right, so I thought, like I said, I had hope that maybe, just maybe, they would match, but I knew deep down that they probably wouldn't. So I bought these. Uh, this is a Norsic as well. I, I like this Norsic. It's very nice. I've had it before, so I knew how it felt. I bought these other two colors because I have a uh, 1970s or 60s, 70s inspired poncho um, that I saw in a magazine. I'm not gonna do it exactly like it, but it was kinda, it just inspired me to make one, um, you know, of similar style. So I'm gonna use these colors here as my uh, poncho colors. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> maybe, maybe, there we go, oh, man, come on now, Crystal, uh, you get it, you get it, right, I can't do it, normally I could do it, but I'm not feeling it today, I can't get it, I can't get it correct. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, these, these, these colors, these colors. These ones. And this, this uh, brown one here. There we go. All those are going to go together, I do believe, in, in a project. I might see if they have an, an orange. I don't know if they had another orange or not. Really, that orange matches well. The lighting is not picking it up well. It's really a, a more pumpkin orange, but I think they all go really well together. I do wish that they had a different green. It does match my shirt, though. So those will probably all be worked up in one project. Um, as for these um, other uh, the silk merinos that I got, that none of them match. I knew that they wouldn't. Hey, I got some more fall collars to make something pretty with. Yeah, I do. All right, that's all I have to show you today. So me being able to match my furry yarn to my meet my high expectations of it needing to be exact was an utter failure. I knew it would be though. I think I might have to lower my expectations on that. But that's okay. I got these two colors in Norsic because I knew those ones probably wouldn't match to make something else. Um, I like their new yarns they got. They're, they're all really pretty. Um, 
that that tensile yarn is really nice i mean it, that is super soft that's going to make something super nice and drapey i might actually like i said go back and see if they have it in black and maybe get a little bit more of this wouldn't that be a pretty what would you tell me what you would make with that i don't it's not scratchy at all so i mean i think a bag would be cool you know you know if i got some if they had some macrame that was black that would make a really pretty bag but this has sparkle already but all right and then tell me what you'd like to see with this would you prefer to see like a half circle rug or a <clears throat> A bag or maybe something different let me know in the comments all right i'm gonna head on out here all right it was good talking to you guys i'm gonna go and uh watch the movie <laughs> bye guys